Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Marie Todd is the SNP's sports minister, but it appears she's not very interested in sports at all. She's not even doing her job, which is to promote sports to the people of Scotland. Now, you have a problem with your national side when it comes to football. Basically, you can't watch it unless you are paying for a subscription service, which means a lot of people aren't watching it or at least forced to go down to the pub to see it. But with the pubs all closing, that's becoming increasingly hard too. So why aren't Scottish football matches on terrestrial TV? England's are. Well, the SNP are liking to blame Westminster and saying, oh, they didn't reserve it and blah, blah, blah and all this and, and create all these different um, excuses. But in fact, and it's just one of those things, again, where reality really upsets the, uh, the drivel spouted by the SNP. It isn't up to the Westminster government to promote Scottish football. It is up to UEFA. It is UEFA who made the decision to sell the football rights to Viacom or whatever the name of the company is. We'll find out who it is. Uh, but it was them who sold it to the, you know, the subscription service. Nothing to do with Westminster. If you have a problem, take it up with UEFA. And why aren't the Scottish government standing there and saying, no, it must be on Scottish television. We must have this. It's perfectly fine to do so. It's perfectly within your remit to insist upon it. The very fact that you haven't is merely indicating that you can't be bothered. It is certainly not Westminster's fault. Let's take a look. Now, of course, um, they're going to try and play this as being Westminster's fault because they've always got to push the difference. Oh, look how the English get their games and we don't. Oh, it must be England's fault. And it's not England's fault. It's the SNP government's fault. They are the one responsible for this. If you're not able to watch Scotland on the TV, blame them. It's their baby, not England's. England just managed to do it, that's all. Scotland couldn't be bothered. It's the SNP. They don't like to please people. They don't want happy people. They can create misery. All the better for them. Anyway, SNP Sports Minister snubbed round table on making Scotland football games free to air, despite a NAT campaign and grievances. She had the option of going to this round table forum to try and get all the Scotland games free to air on Scottish television. And your sports minister didn't bother going. She couldn't be bothered to even go to get the football onto the telly for you. Why not? Why is your sports minister so against people watching sports? It's a very weird thing. It's a very weird position. And it makes you wonder if she isn't receiving a little bit of backsheesh from the company that's got the rights. Wouldn't surprise me. Not saying she has, but it wouldn't surprise me. Scottish Government Sports Minister Marie Todd did not respond to her fellow NAP politician Gavin Newlands who requested her presence at a summit to discuss the lack of Scottish football games on free-to-air TV. Because she's only the Sports Minister. She doesn't care about sports. The Scottish Government Sports Minister snubbed the summit about how to get Scotland national football games on terrestrial TV despite the Nationalist Party long-running grievance campaign to do so. But they're getting their grievance against Westminster. Nothing to do with Westminster. It's like you having a problem with your bank and going to Tesco's and demand to speak to the manager in Tesco's. That's as different as it is. Anyway, Marie Todd was invited to a round table about this topic by SNP MP Gavin Newlands. It is a favourite complaint from Skexiteers that England football matches are shown on Channel 4, but the subscri subscription service Viaplay has the rights to clashes involving Steve Clark's team. They paint it as a UK government issue. But actually, it's up to UEFA to market the rights to show the games. It's just that Channel 4 paid for them. Mr Newlands held a summit on April 13th with a number of stakeholders to explore what can be done to get the Scottish matches to free-to-air telly. And he sent out an invite to Miss Todd. But this was left unanswered for at least two months as the SNP minister failed to respond to the email until June the 5th. And she offered a sincere apologies for the delay in responding. Couldn't be bothered is the correct term there. Just couldn't be bothered to reply to one of her own colleagues about an area of responsibility which was hers. Sport. Football. She's the sports minister. Oh, here's something about football from one of my colleagues. 
I'll just ignore it for three months. No wonder Scotland matches aren't on TV when nobody can even be bothered to work for it. And you're blaming Westminster? Don't think so, love. Anyway, uh, she apologised for this. Um, but uh, she, and she detailed that the Scottish government does not have the power to demand increased terrestrial TV coverage of the Scotland team, despite the wishes of some supporters. Oh, yes, it does. Uh, she added, you may have seen that the First Minister spoke out on the issue on the 30th of March in the Scottish Parliament, setting out the Scottish government's strong view that women and men's international football matches should be part of the crown jewels of free-to-air sporting events. Well, what are you doing about it? Oh, that's right, the square root of bugger all. She said, this is, a matter, uh, this is a matter that the Scottish government has previously argued for. Well, argue, but don't argue to us. Don't argue to him. Don't argue to the, Scottish, to the Westminster government. Argue to the people it should be argued to. You wait for. Anyway, she said, we will continue to strongly support expanding the offer for audiences to enjoy Scottish international football and other major sporting events on free-to-air broadcast TV. The SNP has demanded that Scotland Games be included in the listing events, which must be broadcast on terrestrial TV, like Wimbledon, the Euros and the World Cup. But even England Games are not subjected to this special listing, with Channel 4 insisting winning a bidding contest for the rights. Yeah, it's only the World Cup and UEFA that are, are free to air, and if they are, you get Scotland matches in the free to air. Channel 4 had to bid and buy the England matches, which they did. Why hasn't STV bid and won the contract. Why didn't Viaplay win it? If you're that bothered about having it on free to air, buy the bloody rights. It's not difficult, is it? That's how these things work. They don't want to. That's literally what it is. You've got a sports minister who doesn't want it. Anyway, it's understood that the BBC did attempt to do similar for Scotland Games, but could not match the money offered by the Swedish company Viaplay. Ms Todd added in her email, we recognise the huge importance of football to many right across the country, which is why the best supported league in Europe. I can't see how they define best supported league. It's only a tiny country, 5 million people. Even if they all turned out, that's only 5 million people. There's countries out. I think if you go to Germany and watch a Germany game, boy, they have much more people watch German games. More people watch England games. More people watch France games. I don't know how she can say it's the most supported. Anyway. She said, I'm very grateful for your invitation. I hope the discussions, discussions with stakeholders were valuable. I'm just not turning up because I can't be bothered. Don't like football. Don't care. There you go. So don't, don't be moaning that there's no football on television, no Scottish football on television, when your own television companies, firstly, can't be bothered to bid for it. And secondly, your, second gov your own government won't be bothered to put a bit of money up in there to help the bid get along. It's not hard, is it? It really isn't hard. Anyway, SFA boss Ian Maxwell confirmed to Hollywood on Tuesday that TV licensing has nothing to do with them, the UEFA being in charge. It's Mr Newlands insisted he will find a solution that will offer the next generation of Scottish football fans the chance to watch their heroes play against the world's best. Heroes is a strong word. To me, heroes are people who, you know, tackle machine gun nests during the war or rescue babies from burning buildings. Nowadays, it's someone who comes back from the bar with a bag of crisps. Oh, hero, you know. It's a bloke kicking a ball. He's not a hero. He's an overpaid wanker kicking a ball. But I agree that people like watching it. Uh, and it should be. But not Westminster. Your own government. If the, if the SNP government was to say, hey, STV, make a bid. We'll put a couple of million in. Help the bid go along. See if we can get it. I'm sure STV would. I'm sure STV would be proud of it. They'd be happy. My God, it'd be the best watched programme on their network, wouldn't it? Ah, better still. BBC Alba. Let BBC Alba have it. That'd be great. That'd be the best view of figures that channel ever had. Anyway, I shall stop there. Round up and come up. But it is a joke. Stop blaming Westminster. This one is entirely the fault of the SNP. And ent entirely the fault of the SNP sports minister who couldn't even be bothered to go to the meeting. And entirely the point of uh, the, the problem of the, uh, the television companies not bothering to bid. Coming up. Personally, I want to know why Forrest Mechanics aren't on the TV every week. Always get a good game with them. Usually quite high scoring. One way or the other. Poor old Forrest. Anyway, enough of that. There you go. You've got a sports minister who doesn't like sport. Working for a government that won't put a penny in to get the league. 
and yet everyone is sitting there and slagging off Westminster when it isn't Westminster that own the rights to the game. It's UEFA. Go and speak to them. Arseholes. Anyway, finishing there. Thank you very much for watching. Do please hit the subscribe button, ring that bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, and support Foras. Bye.